Hi, good morning. I'm on my way to town because I have a meeting. Hold on, I'm going to the Okay, that's better. So, I'm going to say I am on my way to town. I have a meeting with someone. I'm trying to start a business, those you outcome to Kwaje. I really don't know how it's, how it's going to turn out completely. Some clients are starting a business is so so hard. It needs patience, a whole lot of patience, discipline about Sioya Kawaida and constant failures. I've been failing at trying to start a business since last year and it is so painful. So part of growing my gifts this year is to try and start a business and Kui Smami and Pakai were successful. So finishing this tea, then I'm on my way. Time to go. Hi to the internet. What you do and all these things. My name is Bongo and uh, I run the account called Bongo Pixel on Instagram. Go follow it. Like all the pictures. And uh, we met in the dollar. So okay, Omar has an interest, a very good interest in vlogging. Sema and Avani takes a lot of time. It requires a lot of time. Why? Wow. Because when it comes to editing, because uh, me, myself, I like doing vlogs using a camera. So I guess that it takes time while editing that shit. And you have a good look, popping, so that you can you get many likes in the YouTube, something like that. But then also okay, wait uploading. Okay, wait a second. I'm going to edit videos. I'm going to cut, I'm jump. You may, you may know this guys, I jump cut my videos, I don't edit yeah. So, I don't know, why, why Why do you think you have to like edit and all these things If your content is real, it's genuine, why do you think you have to edit it? For this, you need to be a photographer to know Maybe <laughs> like, why should okay. you edit it? Okay, <laughs> Anyway, long story short, we are talking about vlogging here and a part of fun and summer and summer if you pass time. I always okay. start doing it because of her. Hold on, we're just about to pay. Well, we're just about to get out of the Daladala. We should take one, we should take one. Costa. I'm on my way to Qatar offices and you are going? Yeah, he's going to school guys. Follow him on all his Instagram pages and check out his work. Yeah. So until, until next time, bye bye. That was a great guy. The things that happen on a daily basis. Interesting. Bus. and I met a very interesting person in the bus actually he 
pictures of friends, no, you know, everything in between. <laughs> okay, somebody just waved at me because I'm walking with the camera. So yeah, we were having a conversation about like my videos and vlogging and it's come out and he mentioned something that really really like gave me a, a um, aha moment first of all he complimented the fact that I have a personality he thinks I have a personality on camera I don't know what do you guys think I think I suck I think I'm terrible nine times out of ten I think my videos are like with not the best quality but you know this guy looks at me and says no you have you have like you have a good vibe on camera like you are relatable on camera so you don't need all that other fancy stuff because let's face it it will take me a very long time for kanye kuwa kunelewa in terms of editing and all that but in the meantime if if personality is what sells right now i might as well just sell it I'm on my way home, like before I go home, I am going to meet a friend. We've actually made friends on Instagram, the Ritz guys, so Tukapaka Kukutana, you are in our car. Oh, and before I, I close the vlog for this week, I have something very cool coming up next weekend. It involves a big boat and a lot of water. So watch out for that. Is that you? Yeah. MJ, please say hi to the internet. Hey, yo, what's up? You're good. <laughs> My name is MJB. Yes, I'm yes. a Nazi. How are you, though? I'm cool. I mean, I've been listening to this guy's music on SoundCloud. For a very long time? A year, as a matter of fact. Right? A year? See, what I love about the Sayaoku, you could just stay outside and just chill. Enjoy the trees, the wind, and just chill, really. What do you think? For real, it's like good vibes. Bro. I'm with MJB. I'm kind of interview. Like, so don't judge my interviewing skills. You <laughs> and you guys, don't judge my interviewing skills. But hey, I wanna. actually good, don't you guys think? Anyway, so yeah, you may not know this, but I've known you from SoundCloud. Yeah. So tell us a few things about yourself. Well, I'm an artist. I started music in. 2012. My aspirations were basically just like linking up with the homies because like, I used to have this thing that I normally do. I used to play with sticks, just rap into them sticks, cut a stick and then rap to them flowers and trees. And I used <laughs> rap to be like, flowers and trees, yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, that, that like just made me be more into it with music. Me growing up, like my parents were people who, you know African parents, you know. We, were really <laughs> we did a vlog about African parents <laughs> and yeah, dreams. You definitely should have that in. I, I did one, you should go check it out. What do your parents think about you pursuing your like your music, music. your art right now yeah. what do your um, parents think and how do they take you well, now they're actually responsive about it my mom is also like, asking me like yo when is your next studio session like where's your next show are they paying you and stuff like that so your pops yeah, my you know, mom my mom but my pops is like a pastor he doesn't really like you know like mess with that stuff like that but how does he feel about that being a pastor i know it's mm. it's a big deal how does your dad feel like my dad is supportive like I feel like he's gonna support it when I start getting like you know big money yeah. like you know when he sees me on TV and stuff mm -hmm. like that but for now he's basically letting me be me mm -hmm. no matter what he is he's just like yo just do you so you have a tattoo right there what does that mean hey this is my first album people my first album this is um pyramid this is the eye third eye the third eye I know. Focus on chakras. I know and this is zone z o n e Okay. And if you get a second album, you tattoo that. Yeah, I'm gonna have that in my body, definitely. I don't want my family to watch this part of the interview and be like, Why? Because uh, you're interviewing people with tattoos. With, I don't know how they feel about that. About tattoos? People with oh. tattoos. I have one. Mm. And Whoa, I have one. I just one. saw that one. But that's like a Bible channel? <laughs> that story, I hate tattoo. We'll save it for another day. But the day they discovered I had it, Let's just say they were calm about it because I know it's a Bible verse. <laughs> My aunt was like, mm, it's, a, it's a Bible verse. Thank God it's a Bible verse. So they're like cool with it, but it was something mm, else. It's what, <laughs> <laughs> like what you do, like, you know, I think like out of all these people that I've been seeing, I think what you do is more like your own point. You we, we, just, we just had this conversation before I got here. You know how I feel right now. So what are you doing right now? I'm about to play you a song that we, that's going to be in my album. MJV wanted y'all to get his peeps. 
introduce your family to the uh, internet. This is Alvin. <laughs> he actually makes dope beats, man. This right here is Bobby Danilo. He's, um, this is Freeman Kamei. This is Mr. Traffic. Weatherman, or you can call him Prince. Has his album called Not For The Gram. He recently dropped it. Nice seeing you. Yo, it was nice seeing you too. Yo, shit. You gotta subscribe to Miss Brown TZ. Sandra Brown TZ. Miss Brown TZ. 168 hours. It's the littiest thing ever, my people. So on a count of three, I want you to say subscribe. Three, two, one. Go. Subscribe. <laughs>